Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is first class on relations and functions chapter of class 11. First definition in this chapter is Cartesian product of sets. What is Cartesian product of sets? In this class, we will learn the definition of Cartesian product of sets and examples to understand how we calculate Cartesian product of sets and five important note points. Please watch this video till the end to understand Cartesian product of sets. You observe here what are A and B. A and B are any two non-empty sets. Consider A and B are two non-empty sets. Then Cartesian product of sets A comma B. Cartesian product of sets A comma B is denoted by look here. This is read as A cross B, not A into B. This is read as A cross B. A comma B are any two non-empty sets. Cartesian product of sets A comma B is denoted by A cross B. And it is defined as, how the A cross B is defined? It is defined as set of all ordered pairs from A and B. Try to understand. It is a set of all ordered pairs. It contains all ordered pairs from A and B. Is here same meaning I written a cross b is set of all ordered pairs. What is here x comma y? It is an ordered pair. Ordered pair. Pair means two. Ordered pair. It contains an order. You see x belongs to first set a. X is in a and y is in b. You can understand this more clearly with the examples. You see this example, I considered set A as 1 comma 2 and set B as 3 comma 4 comma 5. You need to calculate A cross B. How you will calculate A cross B? Very simple. You take an element 1 from set A and you pair with all the elements of set B. For example, you take 1 and pair with this element. You see ordered pair 1 comma 3. You take 1 and pair with the second element, ordered pair 1 comma 4. You take 1 and pair with this order pair, pair with this element, ordered pair 1 comma 5. Very simple. You take one element from set A and you pair with all the elements of set B. Now, you take the second element and pair with all the elements of set B. What you will get? Ordered pair 2 comma 3. Next, ordered pair 2 comma 4. Ordered pair 2 comma 5. I hope you are understanding. In the same way, if you want to calculate B cross A, First, you write set B. What is set B? 3, comma, 4, comma, 5. Cross 1, comma, 2. We need to calculate B cross A. How to calculate B cross A? You take first element from set B and pair with all the elements of set A. Uh, so, what you will get set of? See, ordered pair 3, comma, 1. Ordered pair 3, comma, 2. With 3, all the elements of second set is over. Now, you take this element 4 and pair with all the elements of second set. Ordered pair 4, comma, 1 ordered pair 4 comma 2 like that now you take the third element 5 ordered pair 5 comma 1 ordered pair 5 comma 2 in this way we will calculate a cross b and b cross a we will try to understand this with one more example you see this example i consider set a as a, a comma b set b as a, 1 comma 2 Set B as 1 comma 2. We need to calculate A cross B. See, I considered first set A and then set B. How to uh, write A cross B? You take one element here and you pair with all the elements of other set. See here, A comma 1, ordered pair A comma 1. See here, A comma 2, ordered pair A comma 2. Now you take this element B and pair with all the elements of other set, ordered pair B comma 1 ordered pair b comma 2 i hope you are understanding you consider what is cartesian product definition set of all ordered pairs from a and b you observe what is this this is a set of all ordered pairs from a and b here first element is from set a and second element is from set b i hope you are understanding the definition see what is b cross a b cross a first write set b cross a how to calculate B cross A? You take first element here and you pair with all the elements of other set. Ordered pair 1 comma A. 
ஆர்டர்ட் பேர் ஒன் காமா பி ஆர்டர்ட் பேர் டூ காமா ஏ ஆர்டர்ட் பேர் டூ காமா பி இன் திஸ் வே வி வில் கேலிகுலேட் ஏ கிராஸ் பி அண்ட் பி கிராஸ் ஏ ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் கெட்டிங் த பாயிண்ட் யூ சி ஹியர் இன் திஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் செட் ஏ கண்டெயின்ஸ் டூ எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் கரெக்ட் செட் பி கண்டெயின்ஸ் டூ எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் A cross B contains 2 into 2, 4 elements, correct or not? You see this example also. You see this example. Close. One minute, please. You see this example. Set A contains two elements here. Set B contains three elements. A cross B contains how many elements? A cross B contains six elements. Correct? So here, what point we should know here? Uh, we will uh, go through that important points. Okay. See here, five important points in this. If set A has M elements, set B has N elements, then... Uh, Number of elements in A cross B equal to Mn. Please try to understand. This is important point. In set A, if M elements are there and in set B, N elements are there. Then number of elements in A cross B equal to what? How many elements will present in A cross B? Mn elements. And you can observe the second point. A cross B is not same as B cross A. A cross B is not equal to B cross A. You see here, you try to understand this. uh yes uh, how to get this uh, okay you see here a cross b in a cross b the ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there in b cross a ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there no it's not there ordered pair 1 comma 3 ordered pair 3 comma 1 both are not same they are different uh, what i am trying to say a cross b is not equal to b cross a you see here in a cross b ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there ordered pair 1 comma 3 is there in b cross a it is not there so what i am trying to say in general a cross b is not equal to b cross a okay a cross b is not equal to b cross a and uh, you see this point third point either a or b is empty set then a cross b is empty set For example, if I take set A as a 1, 2 and set B as empty set, what is A cross B? Can we write set of all ordered pairs? Can we write like this? 1 comma uh, some gap and 2 comma some gap. Can I write like this? This is not ordered pair first of all. So, when either A or B is empty set, in these two sets, if one set is empty, If one set is empty, then what you will say about A cross B? Then A cross B is also empty set. That is the third point. Either A or B is empty set, then A cross B is a empty set. Okay. So we learn three points in this. What is the first point? If set A has M elements, set B has N elements, then number of elements in A cross B is Mn. In general, A cross B is not equal to B cross A. Third point. either a or b is empty set then a cross b is a empty set in the same way you see the fourth point either a or b is infinite set then a cross b is infinite set uh, for example just a minute you see if the set b contains 1 2 3 4 and so on infinite set infinite set when you calculate a cross b how to write it ordered pair 1 comma 1 next ordered pair 1 comma 2 next ordered pair 1 comma 3 next ordered pair 1 comma 4 next ordered pair 1 comma 5 it keep on going like this try to understand what you understand either a or b is infinite set what about a cross b a cross b is a infinite set that is the fourth point either a or b is infinite set then a cross b is a infinite set and fifth important point when we say two ordered pairs are equal when we say ordered pair x comma y is equal to ordered pair a comma b see here when x coordinates are equal their y coordinates are equal then only we say that the ordered pairs are equal you see here i take in two ordered pair equal 
what it mean it means that x is equal to a and y is equal to b <clears throat> so in this class till now what we learn i'll revise quickly <clears throat> 